Hey there, planner fans. I have a comparison video for you guys today. I'm filming on the floor near the closest window because it is the dead of winter up here in the great Pacific Northwest and there is no light anywhere to be found. So if um, you hear crunching of cat food or somebody scurries across the screen, my apologies right now, but this is the best light that I can get for you guys. So th today's video I wanted to do for you guys is a comparison of kind of all of the ranges of uh, personal size planners. So I'm gonna start from uh, the most affordable and most accessible and move my way up to the most uh, expensive and least accessible planners. And what I'm gonna go through with you guys today is the Michaels Recollection Planner, two Filofaxes, a Foxy Fix Ring, a Vanderspeck, and a Gilio. If you guys would like to see individual reviews of the planners, leave me a comment down below so that I know which planner you guys want me to review. The Recollections Planner, the two Filofaxes, and the Foxy Fix have a decent number of reviews out there on them already, but I think I want to do the Vanderspeck and the Gilio um, individually. Hi, Katie. <laughs> Uh, because there's not quite as many, these ones are a little bit less well known and they're not quite as many uh, videos on those out there. So without further ado, let's get started. Move all these beauties out of the way. And like I said, there are a multitude of different personal size planners out there at um, a price range that kind of works for everybody, I think. It really just depends. A lot of people will start at the bottom and fall in love with it and work their way up. So the Recollections Planner is a really good planner for somebody that maybe wants to try personal size inserts but they're not sure if the investment in a brand new um, planner is for them. You can get these at Michaels. I think their retail is $19.99 and with a coupon you can get it down to about half that price. So something closer to you know $12 to $15. This is the rose gold that I picked up. Their colors uh, can vary depending on the location and I, I haven't really looked very often at the Michaels planners when I'm there so I don't know if they rotate colors. I know they have some really cool colors like this rose gold. There's a holographic looking planner that everybody calls the unicorn planner and um, but they also have basic colors like black blue, pink, things like that. So the Recollections Planner is definitely an entry level planner. It's not made out of, <laughs> kitty. It's not made out of leather or anything like that. This is synthetic leather and the, the actual inside of the planner. I don't have any complaints about these rings. They open and close very well. Um, they're just kind of a standard ring. There's no brand name on it or anything like that. And you can see that it's attached by rivets, sorry for the glare. It's attached by rivets here at the top and the bottom, so these are not replaceable. The rings on this planner, I believe, are 25 millimeter when I compared it to the Filofax and uh, my Gilio, which the Gilio has 25 millimeter rings as well. The Filofax has 23 millimeter rings. Um, and when I compared it to a set of Krauss rings that I have, um, these appear to be approximately 25 millimeters. But there's plenty of pockets inside. You have a secretarial pocket and you have a slip pocket right here. There's also a slit here where you could put in a, um, a notepad. And then the pen holder is not elasticized, but it's very generously sized. Let's see if I have a, um, this is a pretty popular pen. The Pilot G2 fits in there with plenty of room. Um, you'd have to hook it in there because it's actually pretty loose. But that's, uh, one of the major complaints about a lot of different planners is that the pen loop is usually pretty small. It also, there is a stiffener inside of this planner and it feels like maybe some foam. So that will help the planner kind of hold its shape. If you are somebody that likes the rigid feeling of um, almost like a book cover, this has something solid inside of it. So, like I said, this is a really good planner if you are not sure if personal size inserts work well for you. It's a generously sized uh, planner as far as the width goes. Let me pick, um, this is a file of facts, original. You can see that there's probably maybe three quarters of an inch of space on the side. So, um, th the width of the planner for the recollections is definitely wider than your the original Filofax. One of the things that I love about personal size planner is 
the tactile feel of them, the leather, the squishiness, how how it feels in your hands. This one is not one of my favorites. It kind of feels like a like a hardcover book. So I, I haven't really used this one at all. I just, I loved the rose gold and, and it was, like I said, cheap at Michael's and so I picked it up. Pretty much the only use it's gotten is as a chew toy for my cat. So great accessibility. You can get this at pretty much any Michael's. Um, if you don't like it, you can return it and it's not gonna break the bank if you wanna get started on personal size planners. Next up, I'm going to look at two different Filofaxes. I think these two Filofaxes are different enough that I can compare, that even though they're the same company, I'm gonna talk about two different Filofaxes. This is the original, Filofax original. This is the Filofax Malden. I'll show you as far as width goes. The Malden is slightly wider than the original. Uh, people tend to praise the Malden for its stuffability, so it's, it's quite floppy. The structure of these two planners is quite different. The original is literally just a single piece of leather um, with pockets sewn onto it, as you can see. So it, it generally lays flat right out of the box. Um, it has a two elasticized pen loops, so there's a pen loop right here, and then a smaller pen loop. I don't even know if you'd be able to fit a pen in there, but a Pilot G2 fits quite comfortably inside of there. Um, part of the reason for that is because this is completely elasticized. There's no leather for the rubber grip for it to catch on. Again, this, the rings inside this planner have rivets, so they technically, I would say they're not replaceable, but because the rivets are accessible from the outside, you could theoretically drill out these rivets and replace it with new rings. I don't believe that Filofax sells like a ring replacement kit, so um, you would have to kind of approach that at your own risk. Um, there's a big pocket on the left side, a big pocket on the right side, a slit at the top and the bottom if you wanted to put a notepad in, and that's pretty much it. Like, it's it's very basic, but it gets the job done, and this navy color is really, really beautiful. This, I really love this color. Um, I don't really use this one as much uh, anymore, but just because of the ring size, the Filofax Personal is 23 millimeters as compared to the Recollections Planner, which I believe is 25 25 millimeters, which is probably why it's a little bit wider. Now the Malden, if I'm gonna use a Filofax, I'm gonna be using my Malden. I think this is probably their most beautiful planner. The contrast stitching is gorgeous. The leather I, the, is a squishy, soft. Um, this has a great tactile feel in your hands. And there's tons of pockets inside. The strap is longer than the Filofax original, so you can really stuff this thing full. Again, only 23 millimeter rings. So you can't really put a ton of stuff in here. And like the, the Recollections Planner and the um, Filofax Original, it's riveted in. So this one, I, you don't can't really replace at all unless you're actually going to cut the stitching and pull the backing out and try to re-sew it. So um, you might be able to get away with, with replacing the rings in an Original. You're not gonna be able to get away without severely damaging the planner if you wanna do it in a Filofax. So the Filofax Malden has a big slip pocket right here, a bunch of credit card slots, a pocket right here, a zipper, which is awesome, um, a slip pocket here, and then another slip pocket where you could tuck in a notepad if you wanted to. Now, one of the drawbacks of the Malden is going to be its pen loop. The pen loop is fully leather. There's no elastic on it at all. And so it literally took me four years to find a pen that I liked that fit inside of this planner. You could put something in here. Um, these are kind of like the Sharpie. I mean, I couldn't even, can't even fit one of these, like you know, the, the kind of the Sharpie pen. I think this is Bix's version of the Sharpie pen. Um, it fits a Stabilo, but it's really loose. And so I finally found, I wanted a gel pen. And so I finally found at Staples, this is the Pentel Energel in like, it's a metal body. And so the pen is refillable. So it doesn't fit the, it looks very similar. The refills look very similar to the Pilot G2, but it does not fit the Pilot G2 refills. It does, however, take the Papermate Inkjoy gel pen refills. So I have a bunch of those that I've just been refilling this pen with. And this one, with a little bit of work, fits inside my Malden. It's crazy how long I've been trying to find a pen to fit inside the Malden, a gel pen that I actually liked. So something to keep in mind. 
Um, the other thing you can do is I will attach, like if I wanted my G2, I would attach it right here. Or you can actually just pop it inside the rings and close it up and be on your way. So the leather on the Malden ages really well. It, um, it's one of those leathers that if you scratch it up if you need, and you ding it up, it only continues to look better and better, which is not something necessarily that I can say for the original Filofaxes. These tend to look better when they're, in, in my opinion, when they're kind of pristine. It comes in a, a patent nude color, which that picks up colors and stains really, really bad, and um, it tends to look a little bit more worn, if you know what I mean. Whereas the Malden, this just is one of those leathers that looks better and better the more use it gets, the more beat up it gets, okay? Both of these Filofaxes can be purchased uh, from the Filofax website or from Amazon. Um, they're usually available through Amazon Prime. Sometimes you have to check back if a, if a retailer is out of stock. This one's gonna run you about $75. This one's gonna run you $90 or more, again, depending on the vendor. And then if you have Amazon Prime, it's gonna be free shipping. So you can get them quickly, you can get them for a reasonable price, and you can return them if you don't like them. Next up, we have the Foxy Fix rings. Now, Foxy Fix is really originally known for their traveler's notebooks. Uh, they put these out, I believe, last year, and it's kind of, they kind of feel like a traveler's notebook with rings, which I will mention that they have another uh, notebook now called the Foxy Fix Spice Rings, which is it literally is a traveler's notebook with rings inside. This one is more like a Filofax because it has the popper. But as far as structure goes, the this reminds me more of the floppiness of a traveler's notebook. There's not much structure. It's kind of like the original Malden where it's literally just a single piece of leather. Um, as you can see, one piece of leather, pockets sewn into the side. This one is a lot like the original Filofax in that there's not very many pockets. You have a secretarial pocket here, you have a slip pocket here, and two small pockets along the bottom. Um, and then the pen loop on this one is leather and it's elasticized, but it's generous enough in size that my G2 slips in and out quite easily. In fact, I think I can pull it all the way through. <laughs> so you wanna make sure that the the clip gets clipped onto that if you're putting it in there. What makes the Foxy Fix uh, special, aside from the sumptuous leather choices that you have, these pretty these come in pretty much all of their leather options online. This Rowena is beautiful. You can choose the leather, you can choose the stitching, but what makes this particular planner special, I think, is the replaceable Krauss rings. So if you've never heard of Krauss rings, they're kind of like the Cadillac of rings out there. They are replaceable. There is a video, which I will link below, from Steve Morton from Filofaxi, who shows you how to pop these rings on and off. Basically, you're gonna remove this plate right here, and then there's a couple things that you need to do to pop the rings out, but you can replace them if they get bent or if they get damaged. Um, like with the Filofax, if you damage your rings in a Filofax, you pretty much have to buy a new Filofax. With this planner, you can just get a new set of the Krauss rings and replace it. This is a 25 millimeter Krauss rings that I ordered from Vanderspec. The Foxy Fix comes with 30 millimeter rings. Now, in my journey with these personal size Filofaxes, I found that 30 millimeters is a little bit too big for me, I'm, and 23 millimeters is a little bit too small. I'm happy right at around 25 millimeters, but if you are somebody who likes to stuff your planner full of, um, of inserts, of different, like if you maybe subscribe to one of the, the planner subscription boxes and you get new papers uh, and, and scrapbook papers every month, and you really like to make stuff for your planner, 30 millimeter rings are going to be your best friend. People who have the 30 millimeter rings really and like them, really, really like them. So it's quite a big jump from, let's see, 23 millimeters. I'll see if I can show you guys the comparison here. I hope that's in focus 
but you can tell, see that that's quite a significant difference between those two rings. And the floppiness of the um, Foxy Fix really makes it so that you can super, super stuff this planner. Now, of all the planners that I'm looking at today, the Foxy Fix rings is definitely the widest. Um, I will compare it to the Malden and the original here. Um, generally, the larger the rings, the wider you have to make the cover so that it um, tabs are not hanging out. Let's do like that. So you can see that this is the original width. Here's the Malden, and then here's the Foxy Fix. So personally, I think the width of the Foxy Fix is a little bit too wide for me. The original is a little bit too narrow. The Malden is pretty much perfect. Um, and then the Foxy Fix is a little bit wide for my taste. But like I, like I said, I'm not a huge stuffer of my planners. So if you are somebody that is going to fill this thing up like that, you're going to want to have that width to cover everything. And it definitely looks a little bit better when you have when you have stuff in the planner. It retains its shape a little bit better. So for this one, you can see I, it, this one came with the Rowena leather and the contrast stitching. This is really, really a beautiful planner. I think the beauty in this planner lies in just kind of the rustic simplicity of it. And you can change the rings, which is, it's huge because for a Filofax, if the rings get messed up, you have to buy a whole new Filofax with, uh, Something like the Rowena leather, it's going to collect character, it's going to collect your stories the more you use it, and it's a shame to have to throw it away if something like the ring mechanisms break. This planner is going to run you, let's see, about $110 plus $7 in shipping, and they also have a uh, wide option, so this is just the personal size. They also have a wide option, which allows you to use um, wide inserts, wider inserts like Franklin Covey. I prefer the personal size inserts, so the personal size was fine for me. I have seen people getting away with using wide inserts inside this planner and not having any issues because it is so wide to begin with. All right, next up, we have a Vanderspeck. So the Vanderspeck company is based out of the Netherlands. They're a small family owned company and um, they are known for their customization options. So this is from what's called the Touch Me line, which is their pre, like is their ready-made planners and every year they come out with um, different colors that they're going to offer it in, uh, four to five different colors. This was from 2017. This is the Grease Blue, which is, as you can see, it's kind of a gray blue color. And these are their ready-made planners. So you can go to their website, you can order this, and it will be shipped to you, I think, maximum five working days and then just a couple of days for shipping. So you can get this in your hands pretty quickly. Um, I paid 110 euros plus 19 euros for shipping, which works out to about 160 US dollars. And it shipped within a couple of days, and then the shipping itself only took maybe two or three days to get to me from the Netherlands, so I got this in my hands very, very quickly. Like I said, this is their pre-made option, but what Vanderspeck is known for is their customization. So you can go to their website, they have over 50 different leathers and just as many colors of thread, so you can pick your outer leather options, you can pick your inner leather options, you can pick your string color, you can choose multiple pen loops, you can choose to have it widened, you can configure the inside of the planner with all the pockets to your heart's content. So you can literally make this planner however you want it and the um, the owners of the company are have amazing customer service. They will work with you to get you your dream planner. Now, all those customization options do come with a cost and it's gonna run you probably anywhere from 300 to about $500 to get that done and probably three to four weeks of of work to make that happen. And so if you have a dream planner, if you can dream it up, the Vanderspeck company can probably make it for you. Um, the Touch Me line is uh, comes with 30 millimeter rings or 25 millimeter rings you can select, but the width of the planner stays the same no matter what. So I'll compare it to, let's do, again, the Foxy Fix is definitely wider. You can see that the Foxy Fix is a little bit wider. And here's a Filofax original. 
Again, 23 millimeter rings, 30 millimeter rings, and the Filofax Malden. So a little bit wider than the Malden, but not much. And this is one of the reasons I liked the Vanderspec is because even though it came with 30 millimeter rings, the planner itself was not so wide that it kind of looked more like a square shape. I like this rectangular shape. So this is a super stuffable planner with big rings in it, but it still kind of maintains that personal size planner look. So I ordered 30 millimeter rings in this because I wanted to try it out. I also ordered a set of 25 millimeter Krauss rings, which like I said, after having tested both out, I'm kind of particular to the 25 millimeter. So uh, you can also order their rings in gold color and they're a little bit more expensive, but they really are a beautiful set of rings. They open and close very easily and they, they line up really well. And again, if anything happens to them, you can just pop these off and put new ones on. So the Vanderspec Touch Me features two pen loops. It's got one on each side and they're both elasticized. They're a little bit smaller than some of the other planners, but they do have a leather piece on them. And so I couldn't get my Pilot G2 inside, but I was able to get my new favorite Pentel Energel pen which slides in really easily. And then on the other side, I threw, I think like a Papermate Flare a colored pen in there. I was carrying that around for a little while. It also has two secretarial pockets. It has a slit pocket right here. It has a bunch of card slots running down the side here. There's a pocket in front here and a zipper pocket, a zipper pouch. So there are a ton of pockets in here. And one of the coolest features of this planner is this planner comes with a big back pocket and you can actually stick, here I'll just use my, my note sheet. This is a, a half, this is a letter size piece of paper folded in half. You can fit that right inside, no problem. A lot of people will use that like if their kids have permission slips or a piece of paperwork from their doctor, they can just stick it in the back close up the planner and you can take it with you. Here's a, here's a top view of that. So I think that's one of the coolest features of the Vanderspec. Um, it's one of those things where I, I don't always find myself using all the pockets, but I just kind of like having them there. It's kind of like a security blanket for me. The leather on the Touch Me is, feels super durable. Like this feels like a planner that I would never, I don't put any of my planners really in pouches. Um, because I like the leather. Hi, kitty. <laughs> Sorry, he's got an opinion too, apparently. Um, I like the leather that looks a little bit more beat up, um, but I also tend to choose leathers that show that uh, character coming through. But the Vanderspec leather feels like it's gonna be super durable in and out of your bag. Like, if you were to spill something on this, you would be able to just wipe it right off. This leather, is extremely floppy, like even more so than the Malden. It's kind of hard to show in a video when it's this close, but well, here's the Foxy. The Foxy Fix is very, very floppy as well. Um, and the Malden is floppy, but it still kind of maintains its structure a little bit more because I think, I think it's because there's two pieces of leather sewn back to back but this is, the Touch Me leather is, I believe, buffalo leather, and it is very, very thin and floppy. So if you're not a fan of this and you want to create um, a customized planner, you can select different types of stiffeners to go in the planner to give it a little bit more structure if you don't like the floppiness. Like, you can literally roll this thing into a burrito. It's so floppy. So if you like that, if you wanna make a custom planner, you don't have to order any stiffener. So there's a couple different types of stiffeners. There's one that's very stiff, kind of like the Recollections planner I showed you earlier. There's something in the, uh, kind of in the middle ground and then you always have the option of adding no stiffener as well. So I think the Vanderspec is a really great way to kind of test out what sort of features you would want from a custom Vanderspec. Um, some of these customizations can run you hundreds of dollars in a custom model. So if you want to give this a shot and let's say, you know, you don't need a second pen loop or you only need one secretarial flap or this back pocket, you know, you never use it, you can create a custom planner with custom leather and stitching that maybe is a little bit more affordable because you don't have all the bells and whistles, but the Touch Me line has all the bells and whistles for a much, much more affordable price. So I think this is a great place to start if you want to get into the world of Vanderspeck.
So that's the Vanderspeck. The customer service is excellent. Like I said, it's a small family company and they do have a lifetime warranty on their planners. So if anything ever goes wrong with it, um, the leather has an issue, stitching has an issue, any of the hardware has an issue, you can talk to the company. They will work with you to get that fixed. Vanderspeck also has a Facebook group online, which I will, I believe I can link a Facebook group, so I will link that below. And they also have a marketplace so you can uh, try out a used Vanderspeck if you want to, maybe if you don't want to pay for international shipping or if you're not sure that that's the planner for you, I highly recommend picking up planners pre-loved. Unfortunately, Vanderspeck, people seem to love them so much that they very rarely go for sale in the marketplace. Last but not least, this is a Gilio Ferenz, I think I'm saying that right, um, planner, and this was by far the most expensive and the most difficult for me to get a hold of. I did actually end up buying this pre-loved in the marketplace, and this thing is pretty much pristine. Whoever had it before me, I believe I'm actually the third owner, took very, very good care of it. So these planners definitely hold up to um, years and years of use. This company is based out of Belgium and they use a very special Italian leather and they use leather from cows that are slaughtered for their meat. So the cows are not only used for their skin, they come from cows that are already being used for another purpose. So if that's something that's important to you, that's something kind of cool that Gilio does. Brand new, this one's gonna run you about $300. American, it was 245 or so euros plus 25 euros in shipping. So, $300 for the planner, about $30 American for the shipping, bringing you about $330 total to get this brand new to you from Belgium. On top of that, these planners have a very rigorous quality control check and they come in small batches. So sometimes you can go months between restocks of these planners. So the best bet I'm gonna say to get your hands on a Gilio would be the marketplace. Sometimes people post brand new Gilios in there and they're definitely more expensive, but um, you don't have to worry about waiting for them. You don't have to worry about shipping or anything like that. So again, I will link the Gilio Friends fan group and the marketplace down below as well. That being said, this planner is, in a word, exquisite. The leather is just, like I was talking about earlier, the the feel of it in your hands is, is second to none. It's it's soft and pliable, and <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh, but it smells wonderful. Even though I'm the third owner, this still smells like a like a leather, like a nice leather jacket or a really nice leather purse. And I think one of the coolest features of the Gilio planner is that there's a lifetime warranty on the planner regardless of who is the owner. So even though I'm the third owner of this planner, this the lifetime warranty on workmanship and hardware still applies to me. The leather on here is soft, it's um, but it's it's firm, it's sturdy. So it's not nearly as floppy as the Vanderspeck. It has, it definitely holds its structure a little bit better, but the layout is very, very similar to the Touch Me in the Vanderspeck. There's no customization options for these planners. They they come to, to Gilio from the leather artisans already made, but this is almost an identical layout to the Vanderspeck. There's gonna be natural variations in the leather, like you can see the, I don't know if you can, but the this leather is very pebbly on the outside, and then on the inside it's very smooth, and so you can tell that this was handmade by somebody. This is, and again, pebbly on the back, smooth on the front, and then the fly leaf, this, I'm assuming this is what the planner used to look like when it was brand new. You guys can see the light color versus this is the aging process. But again, it has a secretarial pocket in the front, secretarial pocket in the back. Whoops, <laughs> this is the planner I was, I've was i been living in, so. Secretary pocket in the back, card slots on the back, a zipper pocket in the front, a slip pocket right here, another pocket right there, um, and it only comes with one pen loop, but it's more generously sized, I believe, than the Vanderspeck. It is half leather, half elastic, but it fits um, my Pilot pen well, and then I don't even know if I've tried to put, yeah, it does actually fit my Pilot G2 really well too. So um, when you have, the Pilot G2 will get hung up on leather usually, but this one slides in and out pretty easily. And then again, I think one of the coolest features is this giant back pocket. 
Jillio years ago used to use Krauss rings. They stopped using Krauss rings for a while, but now they are back to using Krauss rings. So I don't know if the, if the glare, with the glare, you guys can tell that these are actually gold rings. These are not Krauss rings, but they are compatible and replaceable with Krauss rings. So even though this is the, the, the regular Jillio uh, rings, I can pop these out and I can put my, uh, Krauss rings inside of them if I want to. I'm not generally a fan of the gold rings, but seeing the gold rings in this planner has definitely changed my mind, and I'm thinking I need to order some gold Krauss rings to replace. These ones open and close just fine. The owner before me actually did just replace them because I think her rings were gapping, and she, like I said, she's the second owner, and Jillio sent her brand new rings. So these are brand new rings in here. I haven't had any issues with them. I just kind of prefer the Krauss rings. It also comes with this leather flyleaf, which I, I think leather flyleafs are for so that you can write on, you know, let's say you have a bunch of cards in, in the back, you can use it as a writing surface. But other than looking pretty, I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of a leather flyleaf is. I can tell you that have had it, having had it now, I really like it. Even though I don't really know what its purpose is, I like having it in there. Although you can't customize the layout of the Chilio, I think it's a super functional layout as it is. You have tons of pockets. You have a zipper, you have that big pocket on the back, you have two secretarial pockets, plus a bunch of slip pockets and card pockets. And then on top of that, when you go to order one of these online, it, with if and when they are in stock, you can request photos of the exact planner that you're going to be receiving. So, you know, if you are somebody that really likes the pebbly pebbliness of the leather, you can request that. If you're somebody that likes wrinkles and veining in your leather, or if you prefer it to be smooth, you can request that as well. So as far as that sort of customization goes, you can the company will definitely work with you. Now the width of the Jillio planner is more narrow. So a lot of people will put their tabs on top of their planner. I don't have a problem with my planner tabs sticking out of the side. I took all my inserts out so I could show you guys this planner, but my planner tabs on the side come right up to the edge here and they don't stick out. They do bump into my pen, but the way that I have my papers arranged in there, some of the some of the tabs go underneath and some of the tabs go over the top. So some, that might be something to consider. I will show you comparison of width. So I'm going to say it's just about the same width as the Filofax original. So the Filofax original has 23 millimeter rings. This one has 25. Compared to the Foxy Fix, significantly narrower than the Foxy Fix. You can see probably at least an inch narrower. Very similar to the Malden in width. maybe just a touch narrower than the Malden. And then compared to the Vanderspeck, maybe half an inch narrower than the, than the Vanderspeck. But again, I think that's personal preference because I prefer the rectangular shape of the planner versus a more square shape. Another difference between the Gilio and almost all of these planners is the Gilio has squared corners and most of the other planners have rounded corners. In fact, all of the other planners have rounded corners. Jillio is the only planner I've seen with squared corners. Some people worry that that might cause, you know, damage to the corners, and what it actually does is the corners of the planner tend to kind of turn in a little bit on the papers. I don't know if you guys can see that there they tend to kind of fold in on the papers and it's lovingly called the Gilio hug. So like I said, I'm the third owner of this and it's is, I believe this is a couple years old and it still looks almost brand new with the exception of this gorgeous patina that it has. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. I've been hanging out in this Gilio for pretty much ever since I got it. The, the craftsmanship, the leather quality is exceptional. I can't stop touching it and I can't stop smelling it and I just want to hold it all the time. So when people talk about the quality of Gilio leather, I thought they were exaggerating. They're really not. Like this leather is something to behold for sure. Personally, I think you get what you pay for applies here. So if you can go to the marketplace and get your hands on a Gilio, I highly, highly recommend it. 
So I hope that video was helpful for you guys to see kind of where the different price points are with these planners, what you get when you pay for them, where you can get them, how accessible they are. And I hope that kind of helps you guys to make a decision about what kind of planner you want to purchase for your personal size. All right guys, so thank you again for watching my videos. I always, always appreciate your support and I will see you guys in my next video, bye. If you guys like what you saw, make sure you hit that like button. If you wanna be notified of new videos that I post, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Please leave me a comment or a question down below. I love hearing from you guys and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.